Why hello there guys, gals, and fleeing for your life. I'm Shawnee Matic and welcome back to Doom. I don't remember what episode it is, but what I do know is that I spawn or er, I unpaused, got hit by a pinky, and then um God, I gotta remember the names. I a Revenant tried to kill me immediately, and then there was a Mancubus who hopped up and got his guns primed. This pinky right here, actually, he followed me. Or it might have been that one over there that just dropped. I'm not sure. And it was definitely that Revenant, because I, I remember that that look on his eye and his eyes. On his eyes? Yeah, sure, whatever. What even what even am I saying anymore? Nobody knows. I'm gonna fire these at you even though it's not gonna do anything because rockets are super lame in this game. And that's fine. There has, something has to be lamer than everything else. And if it's the rockets and not just the pistol, I can I can accept that. I can accept a trade off in that. How was he getting hit by those bullets? Uh, you know what? I don't care. He was, and that's what matters to me. And now I'm gonna punch him, get his armor, and then I'm gonna run this way. And that's electrified. So if you could not hop down there, that would be great. I didn't know that was electrified. I'm just gonna keep shooting people in the face. And then, you know, that's what this game's all about, right? Also, God, I'm so slow, even still moving with the Gauss Cannon. What's great about it, though, is I can charge it up while boosting like that, hop back down, and then shoot somebody. And that was my plan all along. I like how he turns around when he gets hit. Like, whoa, that hurt. And I'm like, dude, you're, you, you can't win. Stop trying to win. You're never gonna win. I mean, you guys have killed me a couple of times, to be perfectly honest, but you're never going to really win. I'm never going to quit. Uh, a cool thing to think about, uh, well, kind of cool, is if you consider death in a game, considering you come back from a checkpoint, that's not you losing. The AI's goal, if, if the AI were to ever win, it would not be by you dying. It would be by you quitting. Like, let's say Dark Souls, for instance. If in Dark Souls, you stopped playing the game because it got too hard, then, then it won. If you died, that's fine. But if you stop playing the game, then the computer can actually has a way to beat you. It just has to force you to stop playing the game out of frustration, I guess. Um, not really anything important, just an interesting thought I've had before. And I felt like, you know, it might have been applicable for a second. So, I said it. Stop hitting me! Through the wall! Oh my god! Stop. Stop. It's just him. It was just him left, and I was trying to get to him. But he kept hitting me through the wall. Anyway, I got the mastery on my on this, and I don't know what it does now. I think I can lock on to more people. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure. Whoa. Whoa. This started moving. I almost hopped right off. We're about to end this level. This is level 12 that we're about to end here. Yes. Vega, please talk to me. Tell me your problems. He's not talking to me anymore. Guess what I can do? Three friggin' barrels. Um, the vacuum energy will put you back through to hell. We have your destination set. Okay. So wait, Vegas keeping me out of hell? Oh, because I have the key. That's probably trying to pull me back into hell. Okay, right. Without a fight. They haven't allowed me access to anything without a fight. What do you think I've been doing this whole time? Strolling through hell? No. I've had to kill everything they got in my way. Oh boy, another giant door. Shit. And this looks like a boss fight area. That's a giant brain looking thing. Is that the mother brain? Okay, so I finally got my objective updated. Uh, even though, you know, the whole glitchy thingy happened. What? What's over there? I can't activate that yet. There is a data pad. That's cool. I guess I'll go ev over here and do this. Whatever this is. What's happening? Alright, so I've got to finish this. Th oh, this is Vega. And I'm killing it. I'm killing Vega to get me back to hell. Damn it all. I don't know why, but, you know. It is what it is. It is the game. This game's what it's game's choice make. I guess I'll go ahead and just finish. This is all in one recording session, by the way, since that last time I said episode one, which was like episode 33. Vega backup. What? He took the backup. I know. I know that already. I knew that was going to happen. I read it ahead of time somewhere. Don't don't worry about where. Anywho, that's the end of that level. That was, episode, that was level 10. 12. I meant 12. We've got one more level to go. Level 13. Now I'm going to go ahead and start it. Oh, okay. This level's called The Well. I was confused because in the loading screen it said Argent Dinur. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And why is it the name of this level? But it's not. Okay, so I have no ammo as of right now. Which I'm sure I'll be finding some soon because they, they seem to be prepping me for a fight. And by prepping me, I mean like emotionally speaking. Yeah, I'm gonna hop over here. Just grab this, whatever's over here. I'll take it. And then uh, probably gonna go do the same on the other side. There's a bunch of stuff. We're back in hell. That's cool. Halfway through this episode, guess what? We're back. Our third trip to hell. That's cool looking. Does it move when I shoot it? Not at all. They they didn't really care too much about the uh, the physics engine, I will say. They cared more about 
I would say just weapon design, uh, enemy design, and stuff like that, which is great. That's what you should care about in an FPS. The physics, nobody cares about that, unless it's like a sandbox. In which case, you better have damn good physics, or I'm going to be disappointed in you. Impact competition! I fell through a rock. Well, this game's good. This game, this game is really good, but I'm not going to lie. It took for fucking ever to develop, first off. Alright, you know what? I'm this far in the game. Let me. I, I will say this. I've had a blast. have not been bored at any point in this game. I would absolutely recommend this game to anybody. It's fucking amazing. Let me go ahead and tell you my gripes, because I just want to let them out. First off, this game took forever to develop, and in that vein, shouldn't it be amazing? Shouldn't it be, like, flawless? And yet, there's still, you know, my character can still fall through solid objects. Um... And such things like that. I was trying to think, and I forgot that I'm not supposed to think in the middle of Let's Plays. You don't do that, you just talk. Anywho, um, stuff like that, and then there's, you know, I have little gripes about textures and how some of them refuse to load, but that's, you know, that might just be the Xbox version. A lot of it might just be the Xbox version, but I will go ahead and say, this doesn't feel like it was designed for the Xbox One. This feels like it was di designed for a late Xbox 360 game. Like, I could point out GTA 5 on the 360, and it looks pretty damn good. Like, I don't think it looks this good, but it looks pretty damn good. This is, this is, to be fair though, you know what? Still ranting. Gonna go ahead and finish up this rant. I realize I've gotten lost in a rant, and that happens. Um, what I was getting at was, this is an early, this isn't even the developer's issue. This is an early Xbox One game. If you look at the early Xbox 360 games, they're terrible, terrible, literally terrible, compared to, uh, like, late Xbox 360 games. Same system, the developers just got used to utilizing the system's, um, software and hardware, really. Um, so it made better games, better looking games, better feeling games, more intuitive, like, controls. So... Xbox One still in its early stages. I think that's the difference between the PC and the uh, systems, is that it doesn't. It has updated software, but it's not new. Nothing's ever new. Like you don't, you know, you don't suddenly see a new control s scheme or a new controller. You know what I'm? It's always a keyboard and a mouse. So the software is going to be constantly upgraded, but the hardware is not. There we go. Whereas with the Xbox and the PlayStation. Early on, you're gonna just, you're just gonna have some some games that are you know they look great, but they're not necessarily next gen feeling. But give it a year. I'd say in about a year, maybe two, which the Xbox One has been out for about two years. Give it a, a year or two more, and you're gonna have some pretty fucking amazing games. I'm expecting the kind of amazement that. Oh God, what's a good example? I have no idea. What's a good Xbox 360 game that came out recently? Relatively recently, I don't know. I've got like a whole shelf full of them that I'm looking at, and all of I I've played old Xbox 360 games. Borderlands, Borderlands 2, amazing game. Came out on the 360, like leagues above Borderlands 1. I mean, you know, same core concept, but the actual game itself was like way more fleshed out, bunch of new guns, same system, same exact system. They just knew how to use it more. So that's what I expect to happen here. I expect you know. GTA 6, which will happen in like 8 years, um, I expect that to come out on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, and to be mind-blowing in its design. They're gonna hit me. Go ahead, come hit me. You know what? You think I care? Think I care what you do? I don't care. All I care about is that you don't hit me out of the air. That's all I care about. Am I going the right direction? No idea. Gonna keep going this way, though. Because why not? Hey, hey, Cacodemon. Did I ask for your opinion? Because I don't remember doing that. So die, please. Oh, hi. Bigger Cacodemon. By bigger, I mean closer. Alright. That's enough. That's enough. No, no, no. You just get out of my face. Die. Die somewhere. Die and burn in... Well, we're already in hell, so yeah. Die and burn in hell. Anywho, I'm gonna end this episode relatively soon. I'm gonna cut out a bit because there was an in-between level thing there that happened. Oh, a twofer. It was a setup with the first shot, and then it became a twofer. Which, to me, isn't a real twofer because it, you know... It was still two bullets, but that doesn't matter. I'm parkouring all over the place. I'm just like, can I get there? Yeah, sure. I'm going to go there. All right. And that's how it should be. That's good game design. Oh, I found a mega health. All right. I'll take it. Um, let me go and end this episode right when he said kill him.
Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.